Hey guys, it's Connor here from Connor O'Shea Fitness. In today's video, I'm going to go through an upper body mobility routine. This routine is going to target all the areas get, that get tight and locked up from, you know, sitting long days at a desk, you know, spending a lot of time doing overuse movements like using a mouse and typing and it'll help open up the problem areas with the chest, the shoulders, and the upper back. So this routine shouldn't take longer than five minutes. Uh, this would be a fantastic thing to do daily, but basically anytime you do this will be a beneficial addition to your day. So you're gonna start with wrist prep, and with the wrist prep, you're going to, first of all, get into a tabletop position so your limbs are stacked above each other, and then you're just gonna start by rotating your elbow pits forwards. Now I'd recommend doing everything between five and 10 times. In this video, I might be doing less reps just so it is not gonna go for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So I wanna make this video nice and short for you guys. So after that, you're going to do fingers pointing towards your knees, shoulders away from the ears. And depending on how mobile you are through the wrists, you can uh, move as much as I am. If not, just stay within what is comfortable for you, but you should be getting a pretty decent stretch with this wrist movement. And after that, after again, five to 10 repetitions, you're gonna go onto the back of the hand. Uh, you can just do one at a time. Again, five to 10 times, back of the hand, rotate the elbow pit forwards. This really gets into your forearms as well and switching sides as well. So after that, you're going to go into scat push-ups, starting off the knees and lower the chest towards the air or between the arms and then lift the back up to the ceiling. So again, allow the chest to fall between the arms, squeeze and then lift all the way up. Now, if that's pretty easy for you, you can go to a more challenging variation, which is the full scat push-up. And same thing, this time I'm going off my toes instead of off my knees. And this is a really good core exercise, as well as being a great stability exercise for the shoulders. So after here, we're gonna do uh, thread the needle. So elbow at 90 degrees, look at the fingers, reach up as much as you can, and then allow that hand to thread uh, between the leg and the arm. Now, if you can't get all the way onto the ground here, that's completely fine. You'll just go to, you know, whatever variation feels comfortable for you. Over, you know, the weeks, months, and years, you will open up and you'll be able to get down onto the ground. So after that, you'll do the other side as well. And then into a T-spine rotation. So from here, reach the hands away, back of the hand, and then you're going to keep the hand in contact with the ground, moving all the way around. And as the arms come to 180 degrees, you're trying to get both scaps or both shoulder blades on the ground. And all the way back to the start. And you'll go for roughly five to 10 of these. I'm just gonna do uh, two or three now and last one so from there you're going to go into a lounge chair with the lounge chair hands behind the back and from here shoulders pull down and back and then you're going to lift your hips lower your hips down towards your heels and then bring the hips all the way back and we're going to go for again five to ten this can be quite challenging for you know people who aren't used to doing a lot of training. So if you do find it very challenging to hold your body weight, don't worry, you can just kind of shift the weight like so, and then shift the weight forwards as well. And then think about pulling the shoulders down and back, keep your chest up, and on the last repetition, you're gonna hold the hips by the heels, and then you're gonna do a static hold for five to 10 breaths. And then the last movement you're gonna do is a side bend. So you're sitting back into, you know, it's called child's pose in yoga, and you're reaching all the way down. And then from here, you're gonna walk your arms all the way over to one side. 
reach down for again five to ten breaths and moving to the other side and five to ten breaths on this other side as well so that's your five minute upper body mobility routine this is going to really help open up the shoulders the chest the upper back it's going to be good for your posture it's going to be good for your shoulder health in general as well and the more consistently you can do this on a weekly basis the better it's going to be for your shoulders going forwards so thanks for watching and like and share and comment if you have any questions as well cheers